Hello friends, welcome to the principles of Geographic Information System practicals. These practicals are performed in QGIS software. Today's practical is to digitize the map data. Here we are going to use some image file and taking reference of that image file, we are going to create a specialite layer. To do so, take a new project and click on layers. Click on add layer and add raster layer. So you will get this dialog box with these three dots. Select the layer that we are going to add here. Here we are going to add a image file. So here I am navigating to this file. You see here the file extension of this file is .dif. Click open, click add and click close. So you can see that the raster layer has got added to your project. QGIS uses image pyramids to make raster load much faster. To do so, just right click and open this property window. Click on this pyramids and here select all these pyramids. You can press control and you can select all and click on build pyramids. Once done, click OK. You may not get to see these pyramids that are created. They are created in a background. The next step is click on settings and click on other options. You will get this dialog box. In this, click on digitizing tab and set these parameters. So you have to set the default snap mode to the vertex and segment. So by default it is vertex. You can change it to vertex and segment. After doing that you can change colors etc. And click OK. Now let us add the new specialite layer. To do so click on layer. Click on create layer and click on new specialite layer. So once you will click you will get this dialog box. Here you can provide the database name. Here to this database you can navigate to the folder and in that folder you can give your user defined database name. Let us add your layer name first. For me here I am adding digitized road as the layer name. The geometry type of uh, this layer is going to be the line so select the line accordingly and we have to also set the crs so let us set the crs to this uh, now i need to first set the database then only i'll be able to set the crs so here i have to click on this three dots then navigate to your folder and write here some user defined database name and click save now thereafter you can just check the layer name the geometry type and let us set the crs here so the crs that you have to set here is 4167 so just type it here and it will get searched so click on this and click ok now let us add some fills to this layer so here i'm adding two fills the first field that I'm adding is the name. So since this is a road layer, I will be adding name to the road. And second field I'm adding is a class. So it can be just the category of the road, like whether it is highway or main road and accordingly. Then click OK. So you can see here that this new layer of line type got added. Set it editable. So click on this and then you can add the features by clicking on this. So I'll just zoom this image and we'll pan this image and we'll set it with the canvas area. So now click on add feature and just draw the lines for the road. So I will be taking the reference of the roads which are already displayed in this image and I will be drawing a line here. So similarly, I'll be creating different roads using this add feature once done you can click right click and here you can just provide the id the name 
that field we have added so here let me give the name as street one and also i will be adding the class of it now these all are user defined you can use any class or any name to this lines so in similar way i will be adding few more lines that means i will be drawing few more roads by taking the reference of this image so here i'm adding around uh, seven to eight roads i'm giving different names to this roads and the id that is necessary once done with the drawing of all the roads you can go to the symbology and you can stylize this layer so to do so just double click on the layer you'll get this property window click on symbology and here click on this simple line and select some line color of your roads that you want to be visible select this color select this width and you can also format it for few many different formattings so here i'm using this dotted line once done with all this formatting simply click on apply you'll be able to see the effect here and then if you are satisfied with the formatting simply click ok then go to the labels and here select the single label and select the name that we have given so click apply the name will also appear so here the names can be seen you can change the color and the font and the size so you will see that the names are displayed you can also change the colors so that you can highlight these names with different colors once done just click apply and click ok so this is how the road specialite layer is created in similar way i am going to create another specialite layer so click layer and create layer create specialite layer here let's select the database name so you can just navigate to your folder and you can just provide the name of the database that is going to be a user defined database so i'm here navigating to the appropriate folder so here i will be using a database name some different name because this is already existing so i'll write here underscore two click on save give the layer name so i can here write uh, digitized area or digitized polygon so accordingly you can give the name the geometry type here is to be polygon so select the geometry type as polygon set the crs search here for the particular crs that we are setting and select it and click ok let us add few fields to this layer so here i'm adding name uh, and i can also add the class now these are user defined fields that you can use you can actually use any name click ok so this new layer is created this is of polygon layer so here set it editable and now you can add the features to this layer here i'm adding the polygons by taking the reference of this image so you can draw a polygon by adding as many as vertices you want once done just right click and give here the id and the class so these are user defined names so you can give any name uh, basically this id is auto generated so you should not tamper it so let us add the polygon again so just click here and create the polygon by adding the vertices right click once done let the auto generated id be as it is let us give the name and let us give the class so here i'm adding name as area one and class as plot 
so this is how the polygon is created now I'm adding another polygon in similar way I will add few more polygons to this area by taking the reference of this image here I'm adding near about uh, four to five polygon areas by taking the reference of this DIF image that we are using this is how you can actually digitize the satellite imagery that you have already got and you can create the vector layers for it once done now you can stylize this layer also to do so just double click on the layer you will get this property window click on symbology select the field type so you can select the solid field there are a lot of different field options so you can select any of this field type you can also choose the color uh, select the color click apply just check whether your style looks better here I'm using solid fill color and will click apply so this is how it appears I'm also trying some more styling so here I'm choosing some pattern uh, I can also use different colors for this pattern so I'll select one color over here you can also display the labels or the names of this plots so click on labels click on single labels and select your label width here I'm using the name attribute to select the label so by clicking apply you see that the name of these plots are getting displayed now you can actually set off that image file or image layer and you see by taking the reference of that image you actually created a vector layer map so this is how you can digitize the image file or raster and you can convert it into the vector. This process is also called as vectorization since we are converting raster data into the vector data. So here you can save your project. This is how you can digitize your map data. Thank you for watching this video.